so hello guys welcome to the TechRoxative channel in this video we will see how we can create OUs users and groups on our this server so right now I am logged in using my administrator account this local admin of this server so let's see how we can create users groups and OUs just click on here tools and you have to click here active directory users and computers now here is our server techroxo.com our domain inside this we can create users or we can create groups or we can also create some OUs so OU is like an organize uh, OU is organizational unit. It is like an uh, container which contains our users and groups. So we can simply differentiate between our different types of users. Like for example, here uh, to create an OU, just right click on your TechRoxo on your domain name, and here click on New. Here click on organizational unit here give any name like i am giving name of uh, delhi now here for example we can create uh, the ous for uh, our organization like uh, there are number of users available from the different cities so we can simply differentiate between all the users inside the inside this daily we can create a also create a new OU to which we can name like HR HR users now here inside the Delhi we can create a number of OUs according to our need like here I can make uh, here IT users now here are two uh, categories uh, inside my Delhi OU so in this way we can create OUs inside for example inside this IT users now we can uh, create users or groups to create a user just right click on your OU and click on new and here click on user now here uh, give the name for your user like test user 1 it is a user logon name from which we will log on to any system test user 1 at the rate techroxo.com and click on next here uh, type any strong password and here user must change password at next logger but this option does is we can create a number of users with the common password with a common password and after that whenever this user try to log on for the first time it will be asked for the change the password at the next logon and here is the second option user cannot change password with this option enabled user not cannot be changed this password and password never expires means uh, the windows default password policy is 42 days after 42 days we have to change the password the password is expired after 42 days and the account is disabled like we can disable this account if uh, for example if this user is going for any leave or uh, for one or two months so we can disable this account click on next and finish now here our user is created 
Now let's again create a new user. Now here our users are created. Now we can create a uh, groups of for the users. For creating a group under an OU, just right click on this and new and click on group. Now here we can give any uh, group name like here is IT group. And here is the group scope and group type. I am not going to uh, discuss these two options right now. We will discuss these two options in our upcoming videos. So stay tuned. So just give any group name. By default, uh, these two options are selected. Now click on OK. Now our uh, this group is created. Now we can add the users to this group. Like there are two methods. The first method just uh, by click on your user and here click on add to a group. Here just simply uh, here also two methods to find your group. Like the first method you just type here IT the first letter of your group and click on check names. Here it gives you the all the list here. Now here is our group IT group under the Delhi IT users. Okay. Now here click on OK. Now our this user successfully added to this group. Now uh, we can also add uh, the user to the group by selecting the group. Right click on it. Now click on the properties. Here click on the members. Here are the members of this group. Here all the members which are uh, in this group. We can add members also from here. Add. Here simply click on test user. Now click on check names. Here our click on the test user 2. Now click on OK. Apply. Now again. We can also add a user with the now right click on add to add to a group. Here click on the advanced. If you don't know the uh, name of your like group, simply you can click on find now. Here all the groups built in, including built in groups are there. You can choose your group from here. Now here is our group. Click on OK. OK. Now uh, our three users are in the this group. So in this way we can create OUs. We can also create uh, groups and users in our this Windows server. So Thanks for watching this video, stay tuned for the upcoming videos.